I want to know the answer to the question. I want to know why, I want to know what happened. What is the true effect of oil on a shorebird, if any? So we're looking at a pair of American oyster catchers on East Grand Terre Island. These birds are birds that we radio tagged because they're part of our study on the survival of American oyster catchers that have been exposed to oil. That's what I'm saying, and they're on, I think they're on the mud, yeah, the mud flat. Uh, so both of these birds, when we captured them, had oil um, on their bodies, on the feathers and on the legs. Looking at these oyster catchers, um, through the scope we can see that it's got orange, a little orange staining on the lower leg and then behind the, uh, the ankle joint, and this orange is, is the color of weathered oil. And these birds are actually standing on, um, a, on a mud that has weathered oil on the surface of the mud. So these birds, as they forage in the water, they, they look for food, they're picking up this um, weathered oil. Yeah, so this that bird has, I would say, has oil on the legs. This is the oyster catcher territorial display call, which they use to drive other pairs out of their territory or to indicate um, pair bonding.